Good morning and welcome to this 28 March 2021 virtual service of the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship of Door County. I'm very pleased that you've chosen to join us. My name is Hank Wolst. I'm a member of this fellowship and today I'm honored to be your service leader. Uh, to all joining us, let me extend my very best wishes for your good health and for your safety. You know, it wasn't too long ago that we had very grave concerns about both health and safety, and we are by no means out of the woods just yet when it comes to either. But in the short amount of time that's elapsed since my last serving as service leader back in late January, the combination of vaccines and vaccinations, a new administration, and a restoration of truth and decency and empathy to our national dialogue has given us all a stronger and more valid sense that perhaps the worst is behind us. Albeit difficult days may yet loom on the horizon. Buttons and I have been fully vaccinated and I sincerely hope that either you have as well or that you soon will be. In either case, please keep masking and keep physically distancing. I do so loathe the term social distancing. I will now light the chalice and share words by Dillman Baker Sorrells. For holy days, on which we recall the old stories, we light the flame. For Passover, which reminds us of the courage and strength of those seeking freedom in the past, we light the flame. For Easter, which reminds us that love is our greatest challenge, we light the flame. For gathering today in this sacred place, we light the flame. For the opportunity to be together as a community, to remember the past, to remember our future, and to be alive in our present, we light the flame. Now Sarah provides us with regular emails that alert us to joys and concerns, and I invite you to read them and to, to revel in the joys and to remember the hurts and, and to remember and the sorrows. It is our custom to, at this point in our service, recite the unison affirmation. Please join me. We gather together to seek knowledge and wisdom, to explore freely the vast reaches of mind and spirit, to celebrate within a caring community those truths, ancient and modern, which give meaning and direction to our lives. I will now recite the doxology. Please join me. From all that dwell below the skies, let songs of hope and faith arise. Let peace, goodwill on earth be sung in every land, by every tongue. You know, since I first discovered a poem called God's Grandeur by Gerard Manley Hopkins, the 19th century English Jesuit priest poet, he has become my poet extraordinaire, my visionary of verse, my prophet of phrase, my mentor of metaphor. There is none better. There is none more magical to me. There is none who speaks to my appreciation of nature and the force or God within it and of it better than he does. Let me now share with you his spring. Nothing is so beautiful as spring when weeds and wheels shoot long and lovely and lush. Thrush's eggs look little low heavens and thrush through the echoing timber does so rinse and wring the ear it strikes like lightnings to hear him sing. The glassy pear tree leaves and blooms, they brush the descending blue. That blue is all in a rush with richness. And the racing lambs too have fair their fling. What is all this joy and all this juice? A strain of the earth's sweet being in the beginning in Eden Garden have get before a cloy, before a cloud, Christ, Lord, and sour with sinning, innocent mind and mayday in girl and boy, most, O oh maid's child, thy choice, and worthy the winning. Today we are again fortunate to have as our guest speaker Dr. Kimberly Barrett. 
Uh, Dr. Barrett will reflect on the challenges and rewards of advocating for and trying to show radical respect to others. The idea is grounded in Gestalt psychological theory. Radical respect is honoring the right of every person to be seen, uh, to be heard, and validated for the unique being that they are. It is the act of allowing others their space in the world. Dr. Barrett currently serves as Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion uh, and is the Associate Dean of the Faculty at Lawrence University, an institution with which I personally have a strong connection. My son graduated from Lawrence and with, with which this fellowship has strong connections, including Cindy Steele, uh, Chuck Lauder, uh, and the late Rich Warch. Dr. Barrett has more than 28 years of experience providing services to college students and working with faculty, governing boards, community members, and others to promote learning, student development, diversity, and social justice. Before we leave the stage, however, and make way for Dr. Barrett, some words about this year's pledge drive, which we're calling Your Pledge, A Shot in the Arm. Today we're formally embarking on our annual pledge drive. That's the rather special season where we reach out to our fellowship members and our friends and invite them to show their support for our Unitarian Universalist community in all of its efforts to stimulate our spiritual and intellectual senses, to provide a sense of community belonging, and to provide solace and comfort and thoughts to those in need. You know, we, we may have been closed in the conventional sense, but we were far from closed. Our hearts and minds remained open as we met in new venues and explored new avenues to learn new things or challenge what we thought we knew. Buttons and I take great joy and derive great comfort through our membership in UUFDC. It is at once a spiritual home for us without dogma and doctrine. Uh, an intellectual challenge for us with weekly forays into friendly and foreign fields, a community of companionship and good company, coffee and camaraderie, and a treat to the ear, a place to hear, music and poem, haiku and words new, laughter and sadness and the redemptive power of common voice. That's why we pledge. That's why I hope you'll pledge. And now to help formally, quite literally, kick off our pledge drive, let me invite you to view our next YouTube segment in this Sunday's YouTube service link for a brief presentation by two very special guests, following which you'll want to continue on to celebrate in our guest speaker's words and message. <laughs> 